you guys have been waiting on for the longest time. Everybody knows and everybody loves the Renegade. We've got the Renegade set up on these 33 Moto Havocs right now. Great tire setup. But everybody wants me to try out the Assassinators that broke the rear defender diff on the Renegade. Will we blow another diff today? Yeah. Probably the swamp. I went and looked at it. It is looking nasty. Now I want to go ahead and answer a few questions about the Outlander. Everybody's wondering, Brayden, where's it at? Why have you not put a new diff in it? Why have you not brought it back into the video? But if you guys look over my shoulder, all those parts, all those boxes are for the Outlander. We are doing a bounty hole bike build on this bike. Good old Robert Parker. He's actually going to be the one building it. It's a little hint. We're doing like, I don't know, 10 inches of lift, PCF, pocket change fab, and really a lot of amazing parts there. We got a lot of sponsors on board and I'll cover all that here in a future video. But 10 inches of lift there, Super ATV, six inch portals. That gives it about 16 inches of lift. Plus we're going up to 37 inch tires. So the only thing we're waiting on now is the 37 inch tires and this thing is ready to roll. And then we can take it over to Roberts and get this build started. We're gonna go ahead, open up the garage door and see if this thing starts. Let me just climb on over. Miller, when was the last time I even sat on this thing? Probably the day you broke it. Probably the day I broke it. Where's the key? <laughs> the key was supposed to be in it. Uh, I'll go for it. <laughs> oh, Lord. Hopefully, we'll find the key. Hopefully, that's the one. How does the key just disappear? This thing literally has not started in months. Probably like six months. Not the right key. Oh. That sounds kind of weak. All right, let's just give it a go. This button might be messed up. I don't think so. The dash is on. It's not. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. These buttons can get very finicky on these Can-Ams. Oh, oh, it's on. She's angry. She's angry, man. in here so that is why we have not replaced the diff this thing's about to get a total reboot baby but without further ado we're gonna go ahead and knock off these tires so uh cut it into the montage Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have the Assassinators on the bike. It is looking, Miller said it best, burnt banana. <laughs> that was his first thought. Because he got the bronze and he got the yellow, burnt banana. I don't know if they're going to stay on it. It doesn't really go with the theme, you know? I like the fuel wheels. I love fuel. I love the fuel wheels. Uh, but... The bronze start, it doesn't really vibe with the Renegade. Holy crap, dude. These tires are so heavy. I mean, these probably gotta be the heaviest mud tires there is. Supposedly, from everything I've heard, they work great in skeg. They're not that great in sand, but like skeg and thick mud. I mean, this stuff just grabs and goes. Hopefully, I'm praying, dear Lord Jesus, don't let my diff explode today. I don't feel like going all the way to performance seats to have it fixed. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't, the, uh, it's probably gonna break something, but hopefully not. Those 30, we had 33s on it. These are 32s, but the 33s, man, they're just, they're more narrow. They don't have as big as lugs. They're not damn near as heavy. If I was dead set on running these, cause they're great tires, what I would do is I'd shave them down. Yeah. I think you shave them down, shave some weight. You can shave a lot of weight off these assassinators. I guess there's only one thing left to do and that's to throw on the helmet and rip, baby. Oh boy, this is gonna be rowdy, baby. All right, start her up, man. I haven't rode this thing in a while. 
This should be fun. We've kind of stepped away from four-wheeler videos here recently. Dang, I forgot how loud this sucker is. I gotta yell. But we kind of stepped away from four-wheeler videos here recently. And man, I'm so happy to be back on a quad right now. This is about to be so much fun. Oh, it's so slidey. With these things having such huge lugs, it's gonna make it very slidey on pavement. Oh my, oh, it just throws out. It just, it literally just throws it out. Holy crap. <laughs> but also that's kind of a downfall because just grass and the hard packed stuff like this is probably not gonna want a wheelie. We'll give it a little, a little testy test. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we're really in all day, baby. Oh yeah. Oh, it pulled right up. That, I'm, I'm impressed. I wasn't expecting it to grip. That was in high too, so it, it pulled pretty darn good. Woo! <laughs> oh, it feels like it's been so long since I've been wheeling a four-wheeler. <laughs> yes, sir. Watch the tree. <laughs> I'm kind of impressed. Let's see if we can do a little power wheelie. Oh, I think it just, yeah, it just spun out, left some ruts in the yard. Did it throw a big rooster tail? Oh, yeah. oh shit, the parents yard, bro. I'm telling you, this, this thing just tires. They just grab and rip. I get just spun right there. All right, we gotta get out of the yard. That ain't gonna work. We're gonna have this yard looking like crap. Look, look at the lots. Holy crap, man. We do a little speed test, two wheel drive. Oh my gosh, this is sketchy. <laughs> Holy crap. Go around the pit bike track real quick and give it a look, look over. <laughs> I can jump that, bro. I can so jump that. <laughs> These tires are insane. <laughs> we can so race four wheelers on a pit bike track, son. How crazy would that be? <laughs> Should I give it a little air for Miller? Oh, I can't make this turn. <laughs> that was a little sketchy. Oh, Miller's face. One more time. That was so sketchy, dude. Holy crap. It does not help we're jumping it on these big ass tires. Bro, that was flawless. <laughs> Bro, that's so much fun. Look at how much air you're getting, bro. You're like, Holy shit! <laughs> bro, that's great. Bro, if we put it on like the, the stock tires and raced around it, bro, those jumps would have to be so much bigger because it hits the face and it just goes. Holy crap. 20,000 likes. We will put the stocks on this foiler and race around the track. Man, well, we at my actually, that was that was so much smoother than I thought it was going to be. We could build a four-wheeler track. We got the skid steer, baby. Holy crap. That was freaking <laughs> nuts <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and get the mud in and see what these tires do man because these tires son they should grip and chug in the mud i mean that's what they're made for they are made for thick mud that mud's thick man this is just our little mud hole look at the lily pads growing up yeah that, that you can definitely get foilers stuck in there but not with these tires let's go on over to the swamp now yesterday we were out here and the swamp was looking terrible man oh yeah i see it that is not okay that's not not okay at all there's a croc probably the same croc i found last time see how the water's down when the water is down like this, the mud is so bad because you can't float. So uh, this is going to be a real testament to see how these tires do, man. But like I was saying, this mud today is going to be no freaking joke. Nobody's gone through it in months, man. That's always when the mud's the worst, when nobody's gone through it. <laughs> All right, I'm sending it. A two-wheel drive low action. Let's see how these tires do. The old naders, baby. I mean, this is two-wheel drive. We're moving. I think we're digging to the bottom one. Yeah, we just dug to the bottom. Throw in four wheel drive. See if it keeps pulling. Oh, yeah. Still pulling.
problem with these tires, man. See if we can't just slow roll it. I feel like these tires will do so much better slow rolling because they're gonna grab that mud. Or you gotta just dig it straight to the bottom when that doesn't work. Woo! They throw some mud. Yo, these tires are paddle tires, son. All right, we're gonna have to throw in reverse. All right, she backs up just fine. Reverse is pulling right through. See if we can't get back through there. A little momentum. Oh yeah, that did a trick. That just opened her right up. Until we get stuck again. <laughs> I'm gonna try my best to say somewhat clean, but this renegade, it throws. And match this renegade up with these tires, dude. It is ridiculous. It's a water show. <laughs> See if it can't slow pull. It's grabbing mud. Uh oh. It wants it. It wants it. Yeah, it's moving now. Bro, these tires are ridiculous. They grip right up. Dude, they literally just made it through there, no problem. Bro, it's like paddle tires. They're just throwing shit all over you. It's ridiculous. I really do wish the Renegade came with some better fenders because uh, these fenders don't cut a whole lot. I mean, you just get slam covered. And bro, what if we built a jump jumping into the swamp? That would be crazy. You could get major air. That'd be ridiculous. All right, let's see if we can go back through. This is gonna be our second pass back through here, so it should clean up some mud and let us get on out of here. Yeah, it's crawling right through now without issue. Pushed all that mud out of the way with the front bumper. Oh yeah, did that no problem. Let's go right, see what this stuff over here is about. Dude, are you serious right now? Crawled right through it. Crawled right through it, dude. Holy cow. Come on, baby! Woohoo! <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, I thought I was going. I thought I was a goner. Come on, baby. We'll try take the slow approach. It's working. It's working. It's crawling. Oh, yeah, we're coming up out of here. See how it does climbing up out this hill? Because the tires, they don't grip a whole lot. So on roots and stuff, I think they're going to do like crap. Oh, for what? What? Are you serious? What that did just fine. That did great, actually. That performed very well. I'm impressed. Bro, I am very impressed with these tires. A lot different than last time. I'm on the verge of just sending it. I don't want to get covered in mud, but like I am on that verge of just, I don't know. Do I want to get that muddy? <laughs> it's up to you, dog. Bro, <laughs> it'd be so much fun though. <laughs> I guess you could wash off in the pond afterwards. Definitely jump in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. All right, I'm gonna send it. Which way? Are you going this way or that way? I'm gonna send it this way. Oh, that root's gonna toss me, bro. Not really a good place to send it, because that root will toss my ass. But look at all those roots. We've wore this thing too much, too far in for sending. All right, let's see if this thing cooks back through. Come on, we're trying to turn right, baby. Pull us to the right. It pulls like a train through all this stuff. These might, this might be the new setup. Just get some different wheels, some different fuel wheels. That matched the Renegade a little bit better. I mean, it's ridiculous. Woo! See if it climbs up, yeah. Bro, without issue dude without issue see i just don't think we're gonna get away with sending it right here anymore i want to build a jump to jump over these roots and shit because you hit one of those wrong it's just gonna it's gonna be a bad day let's go baby <laughs> Woo oh man i gotta build us another pond to freaking ride in build us another swamp that'd be so sick it's ridiculous bro i got an itch on my nose i think let's go over to the pond go see what it does in the water see if these tires float it that's true Hopefully it doesn't float. Yeah. Good old water, Maybe not. Too much 
like I got wet there for a second. But it might not have got wet. It seemed like, I guess it did spin. These tires will spin so fast and just, it just rev limits out, man. Watch. And just no traction, bud. Why is the belt wet? Huh? Is the belt wet? No. Oh, it's really? Just, it spins the tires so fast because there's not much tread hitting the ground. On hard pack stuff like that hard bank, it yeah. just wow. It's ridiculous. You about need four wheel drive. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. <laughs> this thing's crazy, man. I love this setup. Did you like it? You actually like I think it? It's pretty decent. I heck think yeah. I'm gonna run it up the when the next time we go riding, dude. Oh heck yeah, that I'm just gonna cool. leave them on here. I think we're gonna get some different fuel wheels. As you guys know, Fuel is one of my sponsors, and they, you know, they have some of the nicest wheels on the market. We wouldn't have went with them otherwise. I mean, their wheels are solid. They hold up, and they are great. That's actually what we're getting for the Outlander. So uh, stay tuned for that. Well, I think we're probably gonna throw Moto Havocs under it. We'll yeah. probably trim them down too. Yeah. That'll be sick. I know we haven't been posting a lot of four-wheeler content here recently, but it's about to unleash, baby. We got some new builds coming. It is gonna be ridiculous. Like I said, if you guys have not got merch, first link in the description. If it's not already sold out, you guys have been killing it, getting it while you can. You guys act like it's gold or something and everybody's just going after it. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If this video gets 30,000 likes, we will build a motocross four-wheeler track. It'd be so sick. This thing jumped so smooth. Dude, it really did. I was I, surprised. I kind of want to go back and keep on doing it, but I, I feel like I'm going to crash. Break a little. That's not good. No. Nah. So, guys, if you would like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.